Today is phonics lesson 67. Let's go ahead and begin with the review of chart 13. F-U-L says full, 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 and beautiful. A-R-E says air, 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 and care. T-A-I-N says ton, 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 and mountain. U-R-E says your, 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 and pure. T-U-R-E says chur, 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 and pasture. W-A-R says war, 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 and warm. T-I-O-N says shun, 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 and nation. S-I-O-N says shun, 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 and missionary. S-I-O-N says shun, 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 and television. E-I-G-H says A-A-A in eight. O-R says er, 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 and sailor. A-R says er, 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 and dollar. Y says if, 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 and crystal. And E-R-R says air, 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 and cherry. All right, today we're moving on to our next sound on chart 13, which is W-A-R. That says war, like in warm. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the first word. So I have W-A-R here, N-I-N-G-E. Warning, warning. Next one, W-A-R, war. Warrior. Okay, oh, and that O-R as well, or... Next one, A A W A R war. The word is award, and then S M W A R. Sorry, war, swarm. Let's read them. Warning, award, warrior, swarm. So that special sound W A R that says war, like in warm. All right, so yesterday we learned what's called singular and plural nouns. We use that usually with nouns. Singular means that it's only one. So I have paper, book, apple, fork. That's only one. That's called a singular noun. But then we have plural, which means more than one. So two, three, four, five, more than one. And whenever we have plural nouns, we usually will have the S at the end. So instead of paper, it became papers, more than one. Instead of one book, it became books, plural, more than one. Apple became apples, plural. Fork became forks. Singular is one, plural means more than one. And that S at the end shows us that it's more than one. So yesterday I told you that whenever you change some singular nouns into plural nouns, you write them a little differently. So a lot of them we only just put an S at the end, but some of them we have to change kind of the whole ending of the word. So anytime a singular noun, which is one, ends with a CH, a SH, a X, or a S, so if it ends with CH, SH, S, or an X, that's the ending, you have to add something to it when you make it into a plural noun. So I have the word peach, that's singular, that's one, but when I turn it into plural, it becomes peaches, I have to add and ES at the end. So anytime your singular noun ends with CH, SH, X, or S, you have to add ES to the end of it to make it plural, okay? So crash, SH. So I will put the word crash and then I put is, crashes. There were so many crashes on the highway. So you see that's more than one. Or if I would say there were, there were a bunch of peaches in the bucket, that's more than one, okay? Bus ends with the S. Again, I will have to put ES to make it plural. Buses, more than one. The buses lined up. Buses, okay? Next I have Fox ends with an X. We wanna add ES to it to show that it's more than one. We saw foxes at the zoo, that's more than one fox. So anytime your singular noun ends with any of these letters, you will add ES to the end of that singular noun to make it into a plural noun, okay? And so you will practice that in your book today as well. A singular noun means one, a plural noun means more than one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, on up, okay? So you can do your work with pages on today. That completes our final.